Hey, Neil, you're next on NEW. What's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hold, hold on. Are we going to get uh, Johnny on the on the line today? I just talked to his manager. He's going to call him and see if he wants to come on. Oh, oh yeah? That'd be cool. Tell him don't be uh, swayed by what he heard yesterday with Kamal because uh, we like Johnny. Yeah, we're, we're trying to get the other guy from the Jerky Boys on today. Then maybe we could have Kamal call in and then they could fight live on our show. Yeah, maybe we could out. invite them in for Fight Club. That could be cool. See who could beat the crap out of uh, one another. Now, how many fights have we had had in the studio? I can't even count. These are all real fights, too. Yeah. The only one that hasn't fought yet is Ben. Has Earl fought? Earl hasn't fought either. No, I don't think you'll see Earl fight. Every much, everyone else has fought. Rick has fought twice. Mm. Three times. Psycho Mark, you fought and you got your ass kicked. Shut up. Twice. At least I'm not a fag. Oh, I don't, I don't live with a gay guy, pal. <laughs> So what? I don't live with a gay guy. He could be Chinese. Uh, What's the difference? Gay. Not only do you live with a gay guy, you come home from work and he's lounged on your bed watching TV. Want to explain uh, that one to our listeners? Yeah, he's getting warmed up so I can use his ass as a missile ramp. No, please ex <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> All right, Psycho Mark, you want to get into this? No, I don't want to get into it. Explain. explain. I live with a gay guy. All right, explain this one. Okay. You live with a gay guy. Yeah. All right. So? Explain why, when you come home from work, he is lounged out on your bed watching your TV. He's not lounged out on my bed. Is he on, on your bed? TV. No, he's not. Oh, now yeah, you're going to change the story. He has his own TV. But only as of a month ago. See, now, it, you're such a liar. See? Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Don't fart into the microphones, man. Dick. <laughs> Look at him change the story. How many times have you told us in the back office that you come home and your gay roommate is lounged out on your bed watching your TV? Oh, Charles Nelson Riley. Oh. Not only is he lounged out, he's watching the Lifetime Network. Well, that's Usu the woman's network. Usually crying, watching something. He cries the party of five. <laughs> so do I. Yeah, that's pretty normal. <laughs> Jennifer Love Hewitt's cans and know you'll never touch them. <laughs> He cries to party of five. That's yeah. cute. That's is nice. That that's that nice. Is yeah. Good. Okay. Great. Yeah. Bang. And I'm the fag. Okay. That's good. All right. Thank you. It's, hey, it's a psycho mark. It's slurpo mark. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rick. Ben will bury you. Come here, Ben. Here, yeah, Rick. Oh, wait a minute. Rick, Rick, get don't in, even go. Rick, there. Rick, don't start Rick. About his roommate. Rick, get in the middle of these two. Okay, Ben. How many times you want to start this? I'm fine. You know what? I don't care. Okay. Go, go right ahead. <laughs> Open the door. Ben, how many times has... This ben, you realize now... What? You're going to lay this on the table. Well, you've, it's nothing you haven't said before. Uh, yeah, I know that. Yeah, that's all we're trying to get to. Ben, how many times has he told us in the back office that he comes home from work and his gay roommate is on his bed watching the Lifetime channel? A million times, but he stopped because he finally got his own TV. Uh, Mark finally bought his own TV recently. But I've gone over there and he's been in his... Little tight little shorts. I went with Earl one time. He was those tight little shirts with his shirt off. And Earl was horrified. Wait till I leave after like 10 minutes. <laughs> but but the view from your apartment's great, huh? <laughs> that's Harry he, man ass. That's, that's, what, that's what he tells us when we're all, all out to dinner. Yeah, man, I live with a gay guy, but you got to see the view. It's worth it. <laughs> the upside down hot air balloon. Right. Okay. Wah, 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 wah. When, I'm, when I'm leaning out the window and he's pressed up against me, I can see just about oh, everything. Jesus. You sure Marco's not your roommate? Come on, tell us. Marco's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marco is definitely not my roommate. Marco. Oh, All right. Man. I live with a gay guy and that's that. You know, this is America. It's okay. <laughs> it's, America. it's all right. If I live with a lesbian, it'd be a totally different story, right? But I don't think you, you should be running though. around the studio saying I'm gay and everyone else is gay. I mean, well, you are gay. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think I should know? Shut up, I live Mark. with one. Oh, jeez. You got the the gaydar too, huh? Gaydar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Goes off. Gaydar detector. People are <laughs> twisted, man. Chuck, what's going on? Psycho Mark, man. I mean, I respect what you do, you know, as far as getting the wow signs up, but you cannot honestly tell me that you do not have at least a little bit of fag in you to be able to live and go home every day with someone where there's a fag laying on your bed. I mean, to even think of on the same toilet. Oh. Sorry oh, about that, guys. I swear. Hold on. Even, you, you can't, you can't say that. Curse. I'm sorry. Right. But even to take a what? crap on the same toilet with a, uh, hello? 
Yeah, well, I'm listening to you. Oh, one second. Even if you take a buck on the same toilet as a fag, it has to be presented I have as a fag in you. I have my own bathroom. I take craps in my own bathroom. <laughs> I mean, my you, hairy you man ass does not go near <laughs> his hairy ass. Have to you can describe what your uh, your, your mm. roommate's bed looks like. I guess you hang yeah, out in there too. Me too, Rick. Mm. <laughs> he took me around in his yellow Miata. <laughs> nice try, fag boy. But you live with a guy. Uh, of course, I've seen his bed. I goddamn live with a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great. Can someone give me a shovel so I can bury myself some more? <laughs> Into who? Of course, I've seen his Wait. bed. I live with a guy. Yeah. Even well, even better is his little statues. Describe his statues oh, around the house of the naked men like this. Like, uh, <laughs> what? You got naked? You got naked Dude, man what? statues in your apartment? Yeah, really? He's got those the yes. statues yes. everywhere. How yes. big are they? They're statues, you know. Like full size they're statues. Huge. They're, they're huge. Really they're nice. Big, of naked like, men. Like this. <laughs> like on one on one foot, standing on one foot with a leg bent and their arms straight out. Is there like water you coming saw out of them? Some of these statues, you would die. You would absolutely <laughs> die. I swear to God. Can you take some pictures just for the show? Now, obviously, we wouldn't be able to put it on the website, but I got to see these statues. What, of a statue? Yeah. He's got this probably statue on the of a guy leaning over uh, a cliff with his arm and his hand and his like, legs out. It's. It's a real scream. Naked. Naked. <laughs> but the view's great from your uh, place. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. That's what he's been telling us for months. Uh, he tells us all these stories at dinner, and we're like, oh, yeah, it's great. And he goes, yeah, but the view's great, man. I got one of the best views in all of New York, of all of Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, it always comes with a price. <laughs> it's very expensive. And you know, what, you know what I also remember? He's always inviting us up there. Like, I am. He's always inviting guys to come up and check out my view. Keith, what's going on? Yeah, I got a question about Psycho Mark's gay roommate. Yeah. How do they know? How does he know when he's at work, Psycho Mark's at work, that this guy's at work? Toothbrushes. Of, of How does he know that? Because well, I sniff it when I come home. <laughs> there you go. Dude, if I live with a gay roommate, everything will be disposable. <laughs> <laughs> Toothbrush. Everything. Clothes. All right. Thank you, Kate. All right, guys. Bye. You think the you think he's like trying on your clothes and stuff when you're not there because he does he doesn't work right? I did notice some of my pants are a little oh. scratched out. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't work. He doesn't do anything. What's he? He goes to the gym in Chelsea twice a day. He's right? independently so, wealthy. <laughs> did he oh. cut the Did he cut the pockets out of your jeans? For you? <laughs> Steve, what's up? Hey, O and A, what's up? Not much. Um, I live with a gay guy, and it is absolutely hell. <laughs> <laughs> why Why is it hell? Um. Well, first of all, he's like the biggest like male slut. Oh. He has gay guys. All right, wait, wait, wait. Let's back up, okay? You say uh, living with the gay guys absolutely hell, okay? Right. Why would you live with him then? All right. Well, I was living with my best friend in high school. He went off and uh, moved to California with his fiance. So what, I was. What stuck. was his name? <laughs> the fiance. <I> mean. <laughs> uh, it was uh, Maura. Uh, it was a girl. Okay. So. Uh, Larry. So you were stuck for a place. Yeah, I was stuck for a place, and he was a friend of a friend of mine. So I was desperate. I moved in, and it is—it absolutely sucks. All right, w w why is it such a problem? Because well, first of all, he's got like gay guys prancing around all the time. <laughs> prancing, they I prance. Mean, you know, and it's not—I'm not trying to be—you know—like double standards. Like you know, if it was a girl, I mean, they're like guys there constantly. Yeah. I mean, I. I, I do, do they flirt with you when you're there? No, I hide in my room. Are you nuts? <laughs> yeah, no, the worst part is though, and this might sound gross, but like, if, like if he has to go to the bathroom, like you got to get out of the bathroom immediately. He cannot hold it in. Ugh. Well, those muscles are probably a little stretched uh, out. God, oh, God. yeah, oh, it's, it's real nice. <laughs> Does Richard Simmons come over to your place, uh, Psycho Mark? Yeah, every day. As a matter of fact, it gives me the rusty trombone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> John, what's going on? Damn, I live, like, across the street from one. I can imagine living with one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're crazy, man. All right, John. Yeah, a any porn that you don't like, just hook me down with it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's all right. Yeah, I, I think giving... Porno to a twelve-year-old might get us in trouble. I'm not twelve, I'm thirteen. Oh, well, that, well then it's then it's fine. Makes a big difference there. Look yeah. for the uh, big box of porno from Opie and Anthony in the mail. All right, John. Good All right. Thank you. All right, later. There goes our buddy John. He's going to get us in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Pete, you're next on NEW. Opie. 
Anthony. Anthony, everyone, what's up? I almost moved in with the, well, I didn't almost, but I checked out an apartment like, uh, like a month ago. Uh, I had a feeling the guy was gay. And, uh. How did you have this feeling? Well, uh, the, the voice on the phone. <laughs> uh, and so I went, <laughs> I, vi I visited the place, and I was, and, you know how hard it is to get an apartment in Manhattan. So, I mean, I, at this point, I was just reaching. So I went so to what? visit the place. I was reaching for yeah, okay. for the apartment, not him. <laughs> uh, so I was, uh, I basically, I went in to see the place. And I was, I, was, I was good the whole time until he showed me his bedroom. Like he, he felt the need to show me the whole place. And then I looked at the bed, and I started thinking... What goes on there? <laughs> you know, am I, like a, am I comfortable with this? That's so, a gay Disneyland. Yes, yeah, so I, I have to get the hell out of there. Oh my god! I couldn't do it. But Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, I feel for you, man. Mark has no problem with it. Uh, how, Mark, how could you not have a problem with that? Because he doesn't bring guys home. Uh, was, why? Oh, wait, Ben's ben ben shaking his head. the guy from Venezuela? He the one he went to visit? Him. He, he's him, he's never been there. You but Mark, me. Mark, the thing is, though, he he's a gay man. He has those thoughts in his head. Like so he, he looks at you, Chinese guy, and have slanted eyes. No, no but he difference. looks at you. He looks at you, and he sees possibilities. Great, good. I I could. Care and how it. high and drunk you get, man? I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably, Mark, you're one drink away, my friend. You probably you probably have already been violated and have no idea, man. What are those hoops for the last week? What you thought were hemorrhoids. <laughs> All right, Pete. Mark, just make sure you uh, make sure you uh, wipe the uh, toilet bowl because uh, you don't want to catch the gay. <laughs> <laughs>